Have you ever felt the sting of betrayal from someone you considered a friend? The harsh reality is that not every person who wears a friendly smile has your best interests at heart. In today's exploration, we dive deep into this challenging theme, aiming to uncover seven unmistakable indicators that someone may be exploiting your trust rather than cherishing your friendship. This video is dedicated to shedding light on these telltale signs, a beacon of awareness guiding you through the intricacies of recognizing when someone is taking advantage of you. Instead of merely masking our message, we aim to reveal the often difficult truth about fake relationships. Stick with us as we navigate this journey, offering insights to help you not only recognize these harmful connections, but also empower you to step away from them. Your well-being is of paramount importance, and it's vital to surround yourself with authentic individuals who genuinely value your friendship. Subscribe to accompany us on this voyage of self-discovery and personal growth. Through this exploration, you'll gain the wisdom to distinguish between true friends and those who may be transient figures in your life, seeking only to fulfill their own needs. Red Flag 1. Emotional Blackmail and Manipulation Take a reflective pause and consider instances when you found yourself entangled in conversations laced with phrases like, you'd do this if you really cared, or I've done so much for you, can't you do this one thing for me? These aren't mere expressions. They are cunningly crafted hooks baited with guilt, strategically designed to coerce you into actions against your will. It's manipulation at its zenith, masquerading as concern and obligation. Now ponder why should your kindness become a tool used against you? Why should your empathy be wielded as a weapon in someone else's arsenal? This isn't solely about being nudged into uncomfortable situations. It's about a deliberate erosion of your self-worth. It involves the incessant questioning of your judgment and the insidious casting of doubt upon your own feelings. It's a gradual poison that undermines your confidence, leaving you feeling utterly powerless. But here's the revelation. Recognizing this intricate game of emotional chess is your inaugural stride toward liberation. It's about comprehending that your feelings are significant and your no holds intrinsic value. Picture a garden of healthy relationships where respect, trust and mutual understanding blossom, qualities far removed from the withering vines of guilt and manipulation. So, when faced with these intricately woven webs, do you persist in bending until you break, or do you choose to stand unwavering, reclaiming your right to choose, to feel, to be remembered? Confronting these manipulative tactics isn't merely an act of rebellion. It's an affirmation of self-love. It's a declaration that you transcend being someone's emotional plaything. You deserve better. By courageously facing this truth head-on, you're not merely safeguarding your emotional well-being. You're embarking on a journey toward healthier, more gratifying relationships. This path may not be devoid of challenges, but it's one that guides you to a place where your emotions are respected, not exploited. Ultimately, isn't that the foundation we all deserve for fulfilling connections? Red Flag 2 – Selective Availability and Reciprocation in every relationship, there's a rhythmic dance of give and take that keeps the music playing. But what unfolds when this dance becomes one-sided? Picture yourself as a constant presence, always ready to lend an ear, a hand or your time. Yet, when the tables turn, when you're the one reaching out, all you encounter is a cold, echoing silence. Reflect on the moments when you stood as a pillar of support generously offering your time without hesitation. Your phone buzzes, and it's them again, seeking advice, favors, or just a listening ear. You respond unfailingly. However, when you find yourself low, burdened by the weight of the world, where are they? 
your messages float in the digital void, calls go unanswered, or if they respond, it's a swift shift in conversation, a deflection from your needs, this persistent lack of respect, this selective availability, acts as a glaring red flag. It's a signal screaming the harsh truth. You're there for them, but they're not reciprocating. It's a tough realization that your care and concern flow in a direction where nothing comes back. This isn't merely a lack of thoughtfulness. It's a deliberate ignorance of your feelings and needs. The scales are tipped and not in your favor. Your efforts, empathy and time seem to be taken for granted. It's a wake-up call, a moment of truth. Are you in a relationship that nurtures both ways, or have you become a convenience, a stopgap for someone else's needs? It's time to look in the mirror and confront the hard questions. Where do you stand? How much of yourself are you willing to give without receiving the same in return? This isn't just about them. It's about you, your self-worth, your boundaries. It's a moment to decide whether you're valued as you should be, whether the scales can be balanced, or if it's time to step away and find a rhythm that respects both the giving and the receiving. Red Flag 3. Disregard for Mutual Respect Within the intricate tapestry of human connections, an often unnoticed yet powerful signal emerges, the lingering void of respect. Imagine a relationship where your value consistently goes unrecognized and your time and emotions are assumed. It's disheartening when someone consistently cancels plans, arrives late, or worse, neglects to show up altogether. This continuous sidelining of your needs isn't merely impolite. It's a bold red flag waving in the breeze of a relationship skewed heavily in one direction. Why does it hit so hard when someone you hold dear treats you as an afterthought? Respect, the backbone of genuine connections, holds the answer. It extends beyond mere politeness. It's about recognizing each other as equals. When someone consistently places their needs above yours, it's not just a sign of disrespect. It's a signal that you're a mere option, not a priority. Acknowledging our shared humanity and occasional slip-ups is essential. We might be late, forget plans, or become self-centered on a bad day. In a healthy relationship, these are exceptions, not the rule. There's a visible effort, an apology, a sincere attempt to improve. Conversely, a person consistently acting without regard for you isn't just having an off day, they're revealing a pattern of disregard. So when confronted with this enduring lack of respect, it transcends mere identification of the issue. It's about valuing yourself enough to demand more. It's realizing that relationships should uplift, not pull you down. It's grasping the understanding that you possess the power and the right to step away from those who fail to recognize your value. As we navigate the intricate web of human interactions, it's more than just recognizing how others treat us. It's also about acknowledging our inherent worth. Relationships should serve as fountains of strength, not sources of stress. They should be constructed on mutual respect, not one-sided efforts. Pose the question to yourself. Are you receiving the respect you deserve, or are you being taken for granted? The answer might very well unlock doors to healthier, more enriching relationships. Red Flag 4 Superficial Bonding Ever experience that sensation when you're engaged in a conversation, yet everything seems to hover at the surface? That's the unmistakable sign of a superficial bond, a scenario akin to treading on thin ice. Beneath the light banter and laughter, there exists a hollow space, devoid of depth or genuine connection. It's a dance of shadows where the steps are familiar, but the rhythm remains stagnant. Picture this. You meet someone, and the conversation flows effortlessly, yet it revolves around mundane topics like the weather, the latest movies, or dinner plans. Weeks 
turn into months, and you find yourself stuck in the same script, not knowing their fears, dreams, or what keeps them awake at night. It's like witnessing a play where the actors never break character. Why does this happen? It's a defense mechanism, a mask that keeps their true selves securely locked away, out of reach. And you? You're left wandering, scratching the surface but never breaking through. Isn't it frustrating? You invest your time, your energy, but what do you get in return? A mere shadow of a relationship. This isn't just about feeling isolated in a crowd. It's about recognizing when a relationship is stuck in the shallow end. It prompts you to question, am I investing in a mirage? Is this all there is? But here's the revelation. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. This realization acts as a wake-up call. It's time to confront the hard questions. Are you content with the surface, or do you yearn for a dive into the deep? Are you willing to settle for less than you deserve? Superficial bonds act as signposts pointing toward a crossroad. One path leads to more of the same, while the other ventures into the unknown, where real connections might await. Making that choice requires boldness. It demands the courage to step away from the familiar, the comfortable, to seek something more authentic. But ponder this. Isn't that what we all long for? To be understood. To share our inner world with someone who genuinely cares. It's not just about finding someone to talk to. It's about discovering someone to connect with on a level that transcends the mundane. When you start seeking deeper connections, you open yourself to the possibility of something richer, more fulfilling. Yes, it's intimidating, involving the risk of vulnerability, of opening up without a guarantee of reciprocity. But isn't that risk worth taking if it leads you to a place where you can freely share your hopes, fears and dreams? Red Flag 5. Absence in Crucial Moments when reflecting on the connections we cultivate with others, what immediately comes to mind? Is it the shared laughter over a morning coffee or the tranquil moments of silence during a lengthy drive? Often, we gauge the strength of our connections through these light, effortless moments. Yet what happens when life takes an unexpected turn? When faced with adversity, do those same individuals remain steadfast or do they vanish like shadows at high noon? Let's immerse ourselves in a hypothetical scenario, navigating a personal crisis, reaching out for support, and hoping for a comforting presence. Instead, what meets you is an echoing void where you anticipated the supportive presence of a friend or partner. Words may be spoken, but they resonate hollowly, lacking genuine concern. It's as if your struggle disrupts the rhythm of their lives, treated as an inconvenience. In these vulnerable moments when challenges abound, the true essence of a relationship unveils itself. The stark contrast between words and actions becomes apparent, emphasizing how silence can sometimes be more resonant than any spoken phrase. Accepting this realization can be challenging, compelling us to confront the harsh truth that our emotional investment in the relationship may have been a one-sided journey. What we believe to be a profound shared connection might have existed primarily as a surface-level convenience for the other person. However, within this acknowledgement lies a glimmer of hope. Recognizing this reality opens our eyes to the possibility of nurturing relationships that are authentically reciprocal. It encourages us to place a high value on ourselves, demanding relationships where emotional support and presence aren't just anticipated, but are freely given with warmth. In navigating the intricate tapestry of human connections, pose introspective questions. Who remains a steadfast presence when challenges arise? Who not only expresses solidarity, but actively engages with empathy and understanding. These are the relationships deserving of our cherishment, the ones that stand resilient through life's turbulent moments. Remember, 
The essence isn't merely about discovering individuals who never let you down. It's about finding those who, when you stumble, are right there, extending a helping hand to lift you back up. Red Flag 6. Being Utilized as a Means to an End this goes beyond extending a helping hand or providing mutual support. It's about grappling with the sensation of being a tool in someone else's kit, utilized only when convenient and discarded when not. Imagine always being the first to receive a call when someone needs assistance, advice or a favor. However, when the tables turn and you find yourself in need, there's a deafening silence. Your phone remains still and your messages go unanswered. The question lingers. Are you valued for who you are or merely for what you can provide? This realization doesn't just dawn. It resonates with a mixture of disappointment and anger, tinted with a hint of betrayal. Memories flood in of times when you went out of your way to assist and be there for others. Yet, in your moments of need, where was the reciprocity? The absence of this mutual care and respect signals a one-sided relationship where you're perceived more as a resource than a valued companion. Confronting this truth is no easy feat. It compels you to reassess the relationship through a new lens, questioning its depth and sincerity. It serves as a wake-up call, prompting a re-evaluation of your boundaries and consideration of the value of connections contingent on your utility rather than your humanity. While this step may be painful, it is crucial for your emotional well-being and for fostering relationships that are genuinely nurturing and reciprocal. Red Flag 7. The Lack of Detailed Personal Interest In the company of someone who genuinely cares, the warmth is palpable. Their eyes light up as you share your stories and they stand by you through troubles. This authentic connection feels like a two-way street where both parties invest equally in each other's lives. However, there are times when this balance is disrupted. Picture a dialogue dominated by someone else's concerns, triumphs and troubles, leaving you feeling more like a mirror than a friend. This scenario is regrettably common, where you might be seen more as a convenience than a confidant. This realization, though difficult, serves as a silent alarm, prompting a closer look at the relationships in your life. Do they value you for who you are, or are your contributions the primary focus? Such insights can evoke a range of emotions, from anger to sorrow. Yet, recognizing these red flags is the initial step towards seeking healthier, more fulfilling relationships. It's about finding those who celebrate you rather than exploit you. Ultimately, it's about understanding your worth and ensuring that those around you see and appreciate your true value. In the intricate mosaic of relationships, moments vary. Some brim with joy, while others carry shades of discomfort. When you find yourself questioning the sincerity of someone's presence, it's akin to a red flag waving in the wind. Feeling alone in a room despite their physical presence signals a deeper issue. Acknowledging that someone you count on is using you is a tough truth that demands attention. Saying no in a relationship should not feel taboo. Instead, it's a statement of self-worth and a vital expression of your boundaries. Confrontation, though challenging, is crucial in maintaining a healthy balance. Expressing your feelings without accusation is a delicate dance, a form of self-love that sets limits and defines your boundaries. Seeking support becomes a lifeline when relationships feel draining, offering a chance for perspective and change. Understanding that you deserve a relationship based on mutual giving, love, respect and growth is the key to navigating the intricate world of human connections. In conclusion, remember, you are worthy of relationships filled with mutual respect. Thank you for joining me on this philosophical exploration. Remember the key to a stoic life is not just in knowing, but in doing. Seize the day, stay resilient, 
and may your path be filled with wisdom and virtue. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who may benefit from the timeless wisdom of Stoicism. Until next time, stay stoic, stay strong.